Life of the Mountains is hard for engines. The Coldy Fell engines, to be exact. The Coldy, Lord Harry, Shane Dooney, Alec Patrick, blah blah blah, whatever, we know them. Actually, most of us probably don't know. Shut up, Lord Harry. One day, Shane Dooney was going to take a, a little mountain train thing, I guess. You be careful with that. I've had a few experiences with the mountain myself. Be quiet, old man. But we're all old. The only thing is climb up a huge mountain. It's not so easy going backwards as it is forwards. The engines sometimes have automatic brakes which stop them. And sometimes when they finally stop it or get to the station, the passengers would get out into another engine's train and continue up a different part of the mountain. That engine would then carry the coach back. A problem here is the mountains are very tricky and cause lots of accidents. Sometimes coaches come uncoupled and the engines have to go back to bring them back down. In this case, it happened twice. Shane Dooney's automatic brakes went on, so the drivers could go out and check, well, what was happening with the coupling chain. Now the Coldyfell engines are, are pretty old for their time now. So their brakes can't get came off. Uh oh. Someone help! Ah! There was a point where automatic brakes would stop engines, but it didn't last for long. Ah! Someone help me! Ow. It took a while, but with some mountain cranes, Chain Uni and his coach back on the lines. Careful, Coldie. Cool. You don't want to end up like Godred. He's badly bruised now. They found all the parts to him that weren't used as spares, and they're trying to rebuild them. Yeah, well. Let's hope he can make it. The day after that, it was Coldie's turn to take some trucks. Two, to be exact. Ah, I wanted to pull coaches. To make me look a little smarter instead of just a little shunting engine that goes up and down mountains. But Coldy liked pushing trucks more, as he was well skilled, but he was he didn't have people's lives in his hands or wheels, I guess. I just hope I don't crash. Old joke. But the mountain trucks are getting stubborn. I don't think the creator knows much about the Coldy Fell Railway at all. I don't. Can I have gotten a break then? Uh oh. I'm gonna end up like Shane Dooney. My brakes aren't working. This is about time that the driver and fireman bail. Just then, Tony's brakes started to work. So he finally stopped. Phew, that's a relief. I can't imagine it. Uh oh, the coupling came out. All these mountain engine brakes are breaking. I need to tell the controller. We've got other problems on our hands first, said Coley's driver. Oh yeah, right. Ah! Uh, uh, Oh, no! oh dear, said Coldy, but it wasn't over yet. I was real start slipping on the mountain tracks. Oh, mountain roads, I guess. Well, should I say pathways? Anyhow, Coldy started running away. Oh dear, help! They were helpless, so his brakes weren't working, so he fell down the mountain. Coughed and spluttered at first. Then he realized he was okay. How oh, am I still in one piece? Well, I still need to get these um, brakes working, so. Driver, call a crane. That was when the controller can't see them. You engines' brakes has been failing a lot, so I'm going to send you all to the works. Everything will have to be put on hold. Let's face it. It's a serious situation. About three days later, Ariano Sticks and Godred came back looking like a new engine. They used some spare parts in the shed. Boy, do I still have my memory, though. Are you still gonna be a fuss pot like you were before? Joked Shane Dooney. Probably, said Patrick. They all joked and laughed until they fell asleep. The, the engineer came to the controller and gave him a report of what was happening. He said that it wasn't the engine's fault, their brakes were perfectly fine, it was all the coaches. They had to all be recalled. Apparently parts of the wheel mechanisms were coming off. Same with the trucks. They had been working on the lines so long, longer than most of the engines. Come on, come on. And... Roger. 
coaches were surprised. They didn't want to go to the works. But things started working away at their wheels. I had to take them off first. Soon. The coaches were all and the trucks were all complete. But the passengers did had did have a discussion about that it might not be the coaches, it might be the track. That they wanted to have a, sh a safe ride and not die. So a crane put down buffers. It blocked off the tracks where most of the engines fell. And by that I mean too. But someone still forgot to pick up Goldie's cars. Goddard couldn't wait to get back on the mountain. Had mixed feelings about it. He was scared that he was going to uh, crash off of it again. But he also had joy that he was going to show everyone how nice he looked. He didn't arrive at the top station. That was on the mountain railway. Come on, come on, get in quickly, please, he crumbled. Before the last passenger's foot could get on, and they had to cl and the guard closed all the doors, Goddard spluttered out. He was going awfully too fast, and he was so excited that he could just turn around. Come on, this will be easy. His brakes worked just perfectly, just touching them out and then speeding up again. But what he didn't know was that the crane was a faulty one, and it had put them on the wrong line on the mountain. Stopped up, slammed into buffers. Luckily, he stopped. He was about to come off the rails, too. Oh, help! Oh, help! He cried. He was so frightened. He thought he was gonna fall and be broken up into pieces again. Luckily, he saw that he was just on the track beside it. Oh, thank gosh. He stepped away. He didn't realize it, though. Well, the passengers did. Even the coach yelled for Rodner to stop. He was going too fast, man. Oh. Lord Harry and Shane do need a ride. Ha ah, well, would you look at that? <clears throat> Don't worry, Gottfried. We'll have you up. Hmm. Hey, Shane Dooney, look. We can just put them both on those cars. Okay, I'll get a crane. Then I'll go back. No one was hurt, and all the people got out before the coach was towed away. They had to leave Gottfried behind and come back for him in a minute. got back home, everyone laughed. Even Godward had to laugh, too. The controller arrived again. Listen, guys, you have been making too many accidents. We're sorry. Well, sorry's not gonna pay a bill. Now, come on. All of you will have to work double and extra. Doesn't that mean the same thing? The engine is all murmured. Who knows? I might just get another engine. Hmm. Hmm. The end of part one. What's this? A filler video? Well, the Coldy fell is on a little hiatus for only like probably a day. Cool. What the heck? Oh, hey, Tom. So, well, there don't. Oh. Oh. Uh, hey, when does wire here? I don't know. But I don't think we should run over it if it caused a fire. Oh, you're right. Okay. You need to jump over it, okay? You catch me, and then turn around and put me down on the track, and then you can just jump over it. Alright. Ready? No, wait, 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 it's too dangerous. What, what do you mean? I mean, if you jump on me, then I could fall over and step on the wire. Oh, good point, Thomas, good point. Wow, this wire is just fragile. This wire makes me angrier than George Lopez's mom. <laughs> Silly Wilbur, that's not possible. Hello, Thomas! Hello, Wilbur! Oh, what? Oh, Skiff, do not step on that wire. Wh why? Because it could cause a fire. Oh, oh, good point. Edward! Yeah, what? D don't, don't, don't do the wire. What wire? This wire. Oh, this is, well, oh my god, yeah, this, this is just, what, what the heck? Whoa, what the heck? Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. This is just, like, too dangerous. Yeah, like, what the heck? I just need to, like, go back so it's not the danger. Oh my god. Guys, everyone stop. Everyone stop talking. Alright, sh shut up. Sh 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 shut up. Okay. What if I... Whoa, it works! Yeah, Thomas, you're so smart, yeah! Yep. Oh, the wire! Tom, stop! We're back! Well, I'm back. Thomas and Associates. Hey, Thomas! Now that we did a movie, are we gonna make references to it? Well, most of it isn't canon, so... Well, that crushes my fanfiction. Though, I am glad that we got a new bridge. 
Yeah, the old one is. Oh, oh no, oh no! Ha, ah, scrub. Hey, look, Percy, it's our good friend Gordon. No, oh, actually, it's me, Jim. What's the difference? Actually, a lot. Of What's the difference? Well, well, anyway, um, I just came to give you guys some things. Wait, what do you mean? Like early Christmas presents. James, we have 24 days until Christmas. Yeah, you can at least wait for the party that is, um, a day before Christmas. Yeah, but, uh, I don't know, I just thought I would give you guys some things. So for Thomas, I'm giving you a new pair of headphones. Whoa, this is- Ah! Uh, I gotta get this thing off me! And for Percy, I'm giving you, uh, this- This thing, I guess. Oh, well, uh, thank you, James. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna make a bit spread more, uh, 24 days before Christmas here. Boy, I love being British. Hey, British Thomas, I got you a present. Is it more Britishness? Nope. It's a pen. What, what would I do with a pen? I'm British. Hey, Wilbur. Oh, hey, James. Yeah, I got you this crossword puzzle book. Why that? Why not? Hey, Doc, I got in this yellow, so use it wisely because it explodes when you use it three times. Oh, dear. Boom. Okay, maybe I can get this open. Yeah. Oh, cool. That is amazing. Look at how many things this could be used in. Well, I don't care. Hey, Edward, I got you this ball, so... Yeah. Will it enhance my squid deviantart kid powers? I'm gonna leave now. Hey, Anais, I got you this blue marker. Hey, Seth, I got you screen time in this episode. Cool, thanks. Hey, Twilight, I got you this purple DS stylus. Hey, Shrugnall, I got you a forklifter, because I don't know what you love. Love. Hey SpongeBob, I got you this wooden railway model of old slow coach. Hey Whip, I got you a bath. Hey Emo Puffle, I got you this glow stick that glows green. Hey Hero, guess what? I got you some character development. Joe, just kidding, I got you a rock. Hey Dodge, I got you a splatter. Hey Splatter, I got you a dodge. Hey Dash, I got you a bash. Hey, hey Bash, I got you a truck because your brother does not love you. Hey, Faceless Henry, I got you an Xbox 360 game controller. Hey, Bowser Jr., I got you a drill. Hey, Spooky Scary Apple James. I got you this Thomas flashlight. Hey, Diesel, I got you some uh, uh, childhood memories. Yeah, there you go. Hey, Thomas.exe, I got you an alligator. Hey, Creeper, I got you a skiff. Hey, Sans, I brought your brother back to life. Be thankful that. Hey, failed custom big city engine, I got you a James. Hey, uh. hey, Mike, I got you an idea. I should make a big city custom. Yeah, but it is a bad idea, so. Hey, Crazy, I got you homeless. Hey, Cranky, I got you a lemon. Hey, Leon Toby, I got you a candy cold candy. Hey, Stanley, I got you some milk. Oh, by the way, good luck on your, uh, space trip, uh, taking pictures of the moon. Hey, random steam tramper, I got you a toad. Hey, Andrew, if you're watching, I got you a, um, a, a Gordon, so, yeah. Just kidding, that's fine, ha <laughs> scrub. Don't kill me. Hey, Gordon, I got you some drug money, here you go. Ponies. Wait, what? Gordon, are you okay? <laughs> I'm taking that money back. Hey, characters, I have been in this room since uh, the season one finale of Thompson Associates. I got you some character development. Really? No. Hey, Birdo, I got you some 3D glasses. Hey, Shark, I got you a new plane, plane propeller with uh, jet fuel. Hey, Gary, I got you some diamonds. Hey, Scootle, I got you some, uh, you know, some of your relatives. Chickens, get it? Also, you don't have your candy mark in this toy, so no, you, you're not existing. And screw your relatives! I'm gonna be taking this card to KFC. Hey Thomas, now that the noise seems to interrupt everything, I got you a, uh, an angry bird. Hey, uh, Mike, I got you some milk. 
Hey, hey depressed truck, I got you some divorce papers. Hey, Oliver Apple, I got you this. Hey, Yoshi, I got you. I'm Bert. I'm Airy. Shop. But I'm not Bert. Shop. Hey. Oh, wait, this is here. Oh, never mind. Hey, Pat, I got you some medical help. Hey, Thomas, that needs medical help. I got you some medical help. Really? No. But I got you a fat guy. That's all the gifts that I need, so... Bye. Yeah. It was bright and sunny day on the island, so do I. Engineers were working hard, especially over the new bridge. The budget was low, so they, all they had to do was just buy blocks that has words on them. But the bridge is worth it, as it as it acts as a shortcut to multiple pathways. When you go down the bridge, you turn into multiple intersections around the island. One day, Duck was pulling a train on diesel one nine nine to uh, uh, diesel sound. <laughs> yep, that's good. Get out of my way. Oh dear, I advise you, I don't like diesels. And who is to say that you're the boss of me? Get on with you. I'll take over this world if I have to. Your choice, then. Hey, hey, what are you doing? Hey, can't you see? The truck ends here. Are you blind? Sort of. Yeah. Hey, I'm on the track. Oh dear, it serves you right. I just asked you to move, that's all I did. Taking these lovely people to their destination. Well, I better change merchandises. <gasps> ah. Oh dear, I feel very good now. Even though it hurts to live. Hello, Thomas. Hello, Sen. Hello, the one that everybody hates on. Come on, I'd rather be called gay. Oh yeah, and you're gay too. I, I, never mind, I have mixed feelings about that. Well, don't be offended. Oh yeah, I am gay. Cause I'm happy with my life. That's why gay has two definitions. Actually, Percy, I don't think it does. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna go commit more genocide to diesels. Bye. Wait, what? Duck, wait, stop, what? Duck. Do you say you're gonna kill diesels just because they're diesels? Yep. Isn't that racist? No, oh dear, I believe you're wrong, it's trainist. Why are you trainist? I don't know. That's it, 30 minutes in the coal hopper. Oh dear. Have you learned your lesson? Thomas, this isn't re really even a consequence. Because, uh, it's like locking a human up in a grocery store. You haven't learned, obviously. Okay, Duck, I'm taking you to one of those, um, uh, uh, what's it called? Squirt, we'll just call him a doctor. He's here to get, uh, rid of one of your addictions. Hello, Thomas! Hello, Duck! Hello, James. Now, would you please go so the doctor can come down this line? I am the doctor. Oh, okay, well, I'm leaving by- Oh, no, you're not! Okay, Duck. This is my wooden railway model of, di of a diesel. No diesel in particular. Actually, it's diesel 199. Actually, it's not a model, it's the actual him. Yo. But, Doc, you don't understand. That was me inside that suit. See, Doc, we can use this uh, thing that we just did. To, um, to help you bring out the good side of diesels. There is none. Oh. So when you see a diesel, just think that it's Oliver in disguise again. I'm right here. No, he's right there. Come on, man. Don't hate the mac and cheese. Oh, I guess you're right. Yes. Oh, yeah, it worked. Maybe I should just hate the steamies instead. <laughs> No, that's not what you should do. You should just get rid of all your hatred. You know what? Uh, for anger issues and stuff, we usually take people uh, somewhere to a different island alone for them to, like, unwind. But for this kind of condition, we have to take you on a place 
an island with, uh, diesels. No. No. Oh, dear. Diesels. Diesels. Hello, duck. I've been trapped here for 20 years. 20 good years. Oh, get out of here. I will become the average duck. Good thinking, Doc. We can escape together. Nope. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, another bridge. How mother freaking convenient. Oh dear. Oh dear. Fuel car. Yes. No. Oh, oh dear. Oh, he wouldn't last 12 minutes. <sighs> Fine. Pay up. Now we're supposed to be doing something. How how long do we have to stay in freeze frame? I don't know. It's actually starting to snow down those mountains. Like, what the frick? Hello, narrator? Narrator. Oh. Why did we move here? Look, the tracks are even more slippery. Oh, it's super dangerous. Oh, hey guys, I'm here too. Oh. Guys, guess what? What? Screw the rules. Okay, Lord Harry and... No, uh, uh, Miles. It's Miles. Shut up. Go pull train. What the fuck are you doing? Oh, sorry. I'm in here, so... This is a more low part of the mountains. They are still high up. Oh, come on, you're gonna end up like Godry. Who's Godry? Shut up, let's go. They reached the part of the mountain that hasn't been secure for a while. This doesn't look that secure now, but. And then they saw Coldy on the line. Coldy, what are you doing? How did you even get here? You're on the same line as us, and we're the first ones that had a job. I don't know. Catherine was just. I don't know. And I was all like, I don't know either. And that happened. Okay, you guys are all weak. Fallen. Wow, Nigel. That was amazing. It's Nile. Shut up. I'm gonna go eat some coffee. Eat coffee? What do you mean? Well, I guess I should take this and call this back on. Oh no. Oh, oh no. No, stop it. Help. Um, Thea, uh, Al Al Baldwin is here. Oh no! I'm just gonna scrub and see Patrick because I'm a second personality from Lord Harry now. Just freaking help. Okay. Oh! Ooh, that's bad. Oh no, are you, are you okay down there? No, I just fell off a cliff. I'm perfectly fine. Oh, well, that's good. Dang it, just help. Hopefully, the bridge was mended. Blah, 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 generic plot story. <laughs> nope! Well, that was cool. Next station, Junior is traveling along the line. Wait, I can't do this. There we go. Oh, snap. Well, oh, it is the best engine ever. Oh, you scrubs, you lied to me. Super cat will save the day. Never mind. Oh, wait. Okay. The next day, Shane Dooney was in trouble. Come on, Shane Dooney. We had another whole episode about you gonna fall off here and then you could have died. And then we could have had a. Like, we could have had more opportunities for episodes. But I don't want to die. I know. Godry didn't want to die. No, he did not. See? See? But he did. He accepted his fate. Well, it was an accident. Oh, yeah. You are an accident. You're a little late now, cat. Fine. Well, you know, we might as well just have you all go back to the actual railway and uh, make it so we defy physics again, just like we did on how narrow gauge engines and r style engines can fit on the standard gauge tracks. That's a good idea, because, you know, we're toys. 
Oh, well, this was worth nothing. It was beginning to be the winter holidays on the island of Tildur. Shut up, it's Christmas. Okay, Thomas G. Tom Percy, James, Duck, and Scent were out in the yard. They're pondering on life. Thug life. Suddenly, Thomas, it's snow! No, Percy. That's just- Oh my god, wait, it is snow. Oh. Oh my god. Oh. oh! Ow. Ow. You know what this means, right, Percy? Santa Claus is coming soon. No, oh, Percy, Santa Claus isn't real. But, but Thomas, if you don't believe, you don't perceive- Shut up, Percy. Ah. Oh dear, this snow is getting- Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. <clears throat> I was going to say, oh dear. The snow shore is getting severe. Guys, guys, wait! I actually kind of like something like this. Guys, I'm back. I got a new face. No, you didn't. Shut up. Just shut up. It's still snowing! Guys, can you kind of help me with this? Uh, get the snow off? And... Oh, oh, oh. I don't know. Oh, wait, guys. Guys. Oh, guys! 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 Go, go! Oh, no. Let's go somewhere else before the snow catches on. But the snow was catching on on the bridge. Oh no! Snow! And there's trouble. Ah. Well, of course there's trouble, narrator. Well, I'm sorry, Thomas. You don't have a DS that doesn't work anymore. It works perfectly fine. Shut up! Ah! Ah! I'm okay! Never mind. No. Not again. Ah! How long do you think it'll take before he realizes he can, uh, move without the tracks? A long time. You can go in front of me. Oh, thank you, Thomas. You know, before I thought that you were just gonna have me go behind you and get left behind. But then I figured out that you're actually quite nice of a person and- Oh, oh, there it is. Oh, dear. Now, I'm gonna have to push you through the mountains. It's a hill. Don't care! Just know that I'm doing this for my own good. Thomas, why do you take such good care of us? Oh wait, I forgot. Sorry, you're gonna need this snowplow. Thomas, this is not even a snowplow. It's a sticky dough. I don't care. Oh dear. Whoa. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, I hate snowplow. I hate snowplows. Okay, Duck is gonna be my human shield, all right? Duck. Duck. Oh, I think he froze to death. That's okay, I'll just push him to the side. After all, who cares about Duck anyway? Shut up, fan base after season 18. This be, yeah. Snow doesn't seem to be bothering me that much. So wait, let us. Hmm. Yeah. Oh no, my brakes. <laughs> okay, okay, stop, stop. We're not, we're not that low budget. We're not those low budget creators that just say, yeah, for their break sounds. Oh no, the house not. Oh, hi, Percy. Well, okay then. There you go, pal. Thank you so much, Thomas. Well, now it's your turn to help me in return. Thanks for clearing up. No, just Percy. You think the lines would be closed? But no. Uh oh no. And then the snow started falling. Yes, we can clearly see that narrator. Uh, oh no. Enthusiasm not included. Oh. I tried to help. Well, you didn't. You failed, you scrub. Duck, duck, you're alive. Yep, but I'm not gonna save you, Thomas. What? Why? Why, why are you asking yourself why? You know what? You just don't. You know. You just go. Just, hey! No, stop it. Stop it. Go, Percy, go. Just, oh. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm incredibly weak. Crap. I wonder why. Oh, oh no. Thomas, you look sad. No, I'm not. I'm stressed out because I just had a horrible dream. Don't worry, Thomas. I know something that'll cheer you up. Look straight in front of you. What? 
It's the first snowflake of the season. No, no, kill it, 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 kill it. Ballin. No, Thomas, now we won't have any snow in Georgia. <sighs> Good. Oh, God dang it, Henry. I, I, I didn't do anything. Yeah, I know. I just was saying, God dang it, Henry. Why? Why not? Well, there's gotta be a reason he called us all here. Yeah, we, we, we don't, we, we're not normally in this show. We're usually in the background for a comedic relief. And stupidness. And inside jokes. And stupidness. Well, basically all the stars of Thomas and Associates are here. Depressed truck, toad. The narrow gauge engines are here for some reason, but we don't even have a Thomas and Associates episode with him yet. We had the narrow gauge news show. The new no one watches the news, Sir Handel. When will you learn that your consequences have actions? Hey guys, you're here. Oh great. Mr. Henry is here. I'm going to go on an adventure. No Duncan, you have to stay here. Ah oh, dang it. And when will the fat man be here? Oh here he comes now. Alright, engine, side characters, ponies, clocks, pu puppets? What? Who is everyone here? So, Tom Hat, didn't you call everyone here? No, who's go Who's running the trains? DeviantArt? Oh my god, shut up, Edward! Since when did I order skeletons? <laughs> and ponies! Who are those ponies? We're here for the spinoff! There's no spin-off. And who brought the lifeless ghost suit? I don't even know what you are. I'm a butterfly. Shut up! God, it's about time that ugh, this railway has been run by an actual railway. That is not creative. Screw your creativity. But, Sir Tom and Hat, don't you think, uh, ha don't, don't you, like, think about how long it took for this stuff to be set up? Shut up, Percy. I don't pay you to do anything. You don't pay me to do- oh. He pays me to do something. What? Your mom. Oh, you walked right into that one, Percy. Oh, okay. Jeez, who wouldn't criticize this crap? What do you mean? Thomas, he means- well, I don't know. I mean- I, I mean, the Pet Controller has a point. Sure, we've told the story you've sent in Reggie. But who even knows them? We haven't even given them much character development. Only people that stick from the, with the series from uh, episode one would, um, you know, get most of the references that we have. Everyone hates the Thomas and Milo Pony crossovers. Heck, we all hate them. Barely anyone knows the Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared series. Our series doesn't make sense much. I bet we're ruining Undertale and FNAF. Oh wait, nobody likes FNAF. And that's what I'm saying, Percy. Who watches this crap show, filled with references that only the creator and his friend would get? Friends, I think Thomas and Associates is coming to an end. No, 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 Percy. Percy, you don't take, take it back. What? Why? There's something that I haven't told any of you guys. I'm actually broke out of money. Well, we already know that. Yeah, it's kind of obvious. You lived on Percy's roof. Of his house. Man, I guess you guys are right. This show should come to an end. Over my cold, dread train body. Oh no, he's using the loss of physics to his advantage. Wait, what's happening? Why are we, why are we slowing down? Because, um, like physics, it's kicking in and, and shit. What do you mean? Oh no, the fat control had a heart attack. Wait, why did I say, oh no, this is my dream come true. Great, Percy, look what you did. Don't worry, I'll just summon the magic hand to turn me around so I can slap you in the face. Oh my god, where did it go? Thomas! It's gone. Physics won't allow it. See, Percy, physics suck. The worst person in the world's dead, and you exist. End it. Wait a minute. Physics... If physics exist, we're all toys. Oh no. Oh, Henry James! Oh no, everyone's turned into normal. Normal? Yeah, that's normal toys. Percy, do you know what this means? Oh god dang it, Percy! I'm the only one left.
and if I'm a toy, then I can't move on my own. What the heck? Wait, if the hand is a bit... Whoa. Oh my god. I command you to put me down. I love my toys! No, 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 no! Oh, oh god. Oh god, how many times have we had that dream sequence? Thomas, some time of hat gathered all of us here. Yes, that's right, trains with faces. Thomas! Boy, I wonder what this meeting's for. Just for that, we're gonna have to find out in another episode. This is a parody of Diesel D199's awesome Thomas series called Tomba Thomas and Friends. Watch that first before you watch this video. Go ahead, watch all the episodes. I get most of my comedy from that because I'm inspired and he is amazing. P.S. The video is called An Average Day for Thomas. All the engines on Sodor like to feel special, but that means they have to take on pointless jobs called, uh, specials, yeah. One day, Fat Controller came to see Thomas. Thomas, I need you to take a special special. How original? We've used us all. I want some screen time. No. Come on, that's redundant. Seriously, why hasn't Toby had any- Oh dear. Shut up, all of you. Uh, anyway, what? Oh, oh, uh, uh, uh. Anyway, uh, I need you to pick up some ingredients for a strawberry cake. Why a strawberry cake, sir? Because... But, uh, uh, well, it's kind of hard to explain. Why, sir? Well, I do have a case of type 3 diabetes, so I need it so uh, I don't starve. And uh, Lady Hat needs it so she's not a bitch to me. Uh-oh, you know what they say. Bitches and commies never work out on Wednesdays. I won't let you down, sir. First, Thomas puffed and chuffed and weeched and whizzed and hooted and hooted. And other, um, sentences that need to rhyme, because that's the only way we can dispute them to the public. It into the station. A tanker of milk was waiting. Thomas! You have to wait until the, the guard and stuff can come in, and he can couple up you to the milk tanker. But Thomas wasn't listening, and he forgot what the problem Hat has said. I'll huff and I'll puff as fast as I can. I'll be real useful and feed the fat man. So we started off without the center coupling blah blah blah. One generic plot generic plot generic song later. He found Toby with the car of sugar. Hey Toby, shouldn't um Cranky be here instead? Shut up. Okay then. But Thomas did not want to wait for the shunter to come in and couple him up again. I've got to go fast. I've got to make up time. The fat controller would sure like this rhyme. But only if you drank the sugars out of a lime. Thomas went down the track again. Finally, he found Sans. Sans, what are you doing with the strawberry syrup? Strawberry syrup? Oh, I thought this was ketchup. Okay, you can have it. Oh, okay. But it's only 50 gold. <sighs> Fine, but only because I- No, no, just kidding, just kidding. It's 5,000. Gotta go. Thomas was just running along the bridge happily when the loss of physics caught the kick in. What a lovely day it is. I finally got some scream to- Oh, no. No, 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 no! Sugar. Marker. White out. And Toby splashed everywhere. Oh no, what have I done? Oh, why? I made a convenient episode plot. Just then, Duck pulled in, but he didn't care, so he just left. But the fat controller waddled in. Thomas, look at this mess! Oh no, sir, I'm so sorry. Please don't punish me. Why would I punish you, Thomas? I said, what now? You know I like jelly on the grass and sugar and milk. Wait, what? But you did make all these damages, so there's only one thing to do about that. Let me pay the bills with Percy's rent money? No, I'm going to scrap you. What? Yeah, that's right, you better run. After I finish this jelly off the floor, I am seriously scrapping you. Oh no, Toby, help! No, don't worry, Thomas. If he's gonna lick floor jelly all day, you're fine to just run. Hey, right, what? Why are you still in your wooden rally mops? Shut up. Ah! Renaeus, you idiot! You derailed the track! Just put right here so you can't make any more. No, oh, come on! You need to fix it. Buffers! Let me take a self. No! 
No selfies. There we go. Help me. And then Duncan came up and said, oh, hi, Reneus. Oh, hi, Reneus. Wow, that was completely... Shut up. I'm going to go on an adventure now. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, the buckets are done. Yep. All right, I have to take a tennis ball. That's going to seem so bad. Hey. Kind of heavy. Oh no! Oh, quick! Oh, quick! Go, quick! Ah! Ah! Oh! Oh, good. I'm back on the track now. Ah! Go. <coughs> go, Rusty, go. Go, yeah! Go, Rusty. Dang it, Rusty! Rusty, why you do this? Come on, Rusty. You're better than this, I man. Do you always do this. You need to stop this. and get your freaking rocks back. My god, Rusty. It's not his. Oh, well, there it is now. Go, Rusty. You're the king of Burger King. Dang it, Rusty. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Because Duncan told us to. Oh. Rusty, oh my god! Ah, help me! Then Rusty went down the mountain. Rusty! Oh my god, Rusty, why'd you do that? Do I have to do everything myself? Rusty, why'd you do that? Jeez, all less steamies have to do everything ourselves on this narrow gauge railway. I just push this up. Oh, oh, Rusty, why? Come on, Rusty. I'm laying here and doing nothing. What did I do? You were born, Rusty. <laughs> this is a really nice camera angle. Yes, but that doesn't matter because... Oh my god, Rusty! Come on, man! Oh wait, hold on. I need to turn around because I gotta... Yes. No, wait. He said just get under here and wait for my trucks to load. Rusty! Oh my god! Stop freaking I'm leaving. Rusty, you are assigned this job. Get back here, mister. No, I'm leaving. I'm leaving right now. <coughs> After all you've caused today, no, I'm I'm just, I didn't do anything. Yeah, that's right. You better leave. You better leave. Rusty! Oh my god. Rusty uses rust cream. Rusty! What? Fine. That one was my fault. No, that one wasn't your fault. I should have looked where I was going. But that one was my was completely my fault. Rusty! Oh, Rusty! Why you do this? Come on, man. You just knocked down the second creator. I know you hate them, but you don't have to hate them that much. I love the creators, but now I'm thinking of not loving the creators because I'm looking at you, but I'm also looking at a butterfly in the distance. Okay. <laughs> Fine, I'll just. Rusty, why did you have to run into me? Ah, oh, Rusty! Oh. Epic flip! Forgettable blip. This is my life now. Oh! oh. Landing. Oh. Oh. oh, that one looks like a strawberry. Well, that one looks like a grenade. What was I doing? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. oh hey, I made it. Happy birthday, Jesus. <laughs> Thomas. Aunt Thomas isn't here. Scott always here. Lol. 
the narrow gauge engines work at the Blue Mountain Quarry. Pushing and pulling trucks built Blue Mountain Stone, which is invisible. One day, Scar Lowy um, has taken some trucks up to the incline. An incline is filled with coal at the top, and workmen who would put coal inside the trucks. One workman must run down and connect rope to the trucks. The rope then pulls the trucks up while the tra while the engine is uncoupled. This time, I forgot to uncouple Scar Lowy. Oh, frick, 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 frick! Wait, wait, shouldn't we be doing this with Duncan? Duncan had an episode about this. Help. We reached the top safely, luckily. The workmen saw that Scarlet was coupled to the train because they were not blind. Unlike freaking everybody else on Sodor. They pushed him back down the hill, but the trucks stayed up here. But what they didn't know was because of the distraction of Scarlet, the truck started to move forward. Oh no! The possibilities of that happening are completely 100%. Merrick, the qu the crane or something, was there, but he was facing the wrong way. Oh well, I guess I'll just have to take the, these trucks down the old-fashioned way. And so he puffed off. Then Grand Puff came. You little whippersnappers, pull up your pants. This is a red lobster. I don't want this anymore. When the other engines heard about Renee's accident, they were, uh, feelings. Well, of course he fell off the line. Can't you see? That one's a bundle of an idiot. Hey, me and Sir Handel may be old, but we know how to beat up a guy named Sir Handel. Did you just say Sir Handel? I meant to say Renee's. You're old. Shut up. It couldn't have been Sir Handel, it had to be- Oh no, I, I'm saying it again! It couldn't have been Reneus, it could have had to be the truck. Just then, some grass blew onto the line. Ah! What? Oh, hey, that's why. Gotta go help Sir uh, Reneus. Oh, Reneus is real shit too. Luckily, he was slowed down by some trucks. He was gonna pull back onto the line. Duke, why are you here? I don't want your business whippersnapper. But we're old, too. But I'm older. Okay. I I don't know if that's entirely true, but okay. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna bring it along. Then Reneus has helped. Reneus couldn't take his train, so they had to do s someone who had the exact same shape when he was in an old form of wooden railway that doesn't exist. Spotcher! Bah, buck. That's our Smudger! That's our Smudger, starring Duke, Falcon, Stewart, and Smudger. Yeah! But it all was over when he, in, when he came to the uh, mountain tracks. Well, the tracks that went down the mountain. This isn't called the Fell Railway, Freedom Scrubs. That, that's already over. Ah! 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 And the car bumped into him. Here's your crash, internet. So they put Smudger back onto the truck, but his brakes didn't work, so he went back down. Well, you're going to be turned into a generator for our unknown resource. No, Smudger! No, Smudger! No! I'm sorry, this is the only thing I'm gonna... It's my only talent. Ah, oh, dang. When is 2016 Bertram gonna be released? In 2016. Oh. Yep. Okay, dude, sun's setting. Let's go. But up ahead, there was trouble. Whoa! Go trouble with Mabel's bubble. Whoa! Whoa! Where was the boulder going? I'll be safe here. Ah! Shortcut.
one the next day i mean no it's actually at this current time period rusty had a car a car full of something and she didn't know it was inside i'm a dude no you're not yes i am okay fine damn rusty that's racist no it's not that has nothing to do with racism uh i guess i just gotta take this no there you go sir handle I'm not gonna call you Reneus like Scarlori because he's a big, dumb, stupid face. Here you go, sir, hand job. Bye, have a beautiful night. Hmm, I wonder what. What did you just call me? I, I wonder what's in this. Adventure! <laughs> Get away! Go. Never come back. Thank you. Dang it. Meanwhile, Peter's saying. Yeah, that's it. Um, uh, Grandpuff, it's Duke. A uh, Dukey, it's Duke! You're too old, I don't think you should be- No! No, I can do this! That's not even a truck, that's a Murdoch's coal tender. Ah! That's all forks. Okay, people! Um, well, I, we got it here to tell you something, and it's not that my face is ugly, because it really is disturbing. You're all one-off characters. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, okay. Let's tear this place apart! Oh! Oh! Big Merrick! Oh! Whoa, man. That's so cool! Okay. <laughs> hey, wait, why is the truck not? Uh, oh, ah, ah. Hey guys, we're back with the smoothies. Uh, ah. What are you doing? This is a perfectly beautiful railway. Shut up, little man. Oh, tiny water bottle. Oh. Actually, this place had like more accidents than in the entire series. John Cena Smackdown. Oh. Why are we still here? Nobody really cares. And even if they did, they wouldn't exist. Nobody cares about our show. That's right, nobody cares. Let's get back to work. Fine. What about us, sir? Shop. House will pull the trucks up the hill. If it's an Eric slot that doesn't have the will, the truck will then snap, and Thomas will smoke crack, and then the truck will roll over. The trucks are going fast, and then they fly right past something non-important. That's feminism! This episode is dank and offensive. But who really cares, oh dear? But this episode is a musical with no music. But then the trucks crash, and two bounce and dash, and they were only there for the rhyme. But there's not enough time! Ah! There's always time for a song. Get back to work, you train. Especially you, James. But there's like three of me. It's true. He means four. I'm Satan. Ugh. Ugh. Something that rhymes with four. Uh, uh, four. Uh, Gordon, sing. <gasps> oh! Your screen time is over. But I wanted to sing. Nobody cares. Back to Tom's perspective. And he was being elected as president. And so is sent. Apparently. Wait right there. You need some new hair. You don't even have hair, so okay. That's good hair. That's good good hair right there. Four Being accidents. president is hard, I'm going. But then more crashes, yeah. Sans! I think I have rashes. Because of all these crashes. 
Yes! For the main characters, so we're getting out of here. We don't want to be involved, so we'll just disappear. No, 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 I think the script was wrote a long time ago. I don't really care. The Scottish. Oh no. Oh dear. Duck is right. Let's get out of here. Me and Gordon will go this way. And the losers go the other. Don't make fun of my mother. I'm not your mom. Yes, you are. Mom. Guys, look, I'm Wilbur. And I am Frank. Nobody cares. You guys are one offs like Hank. Oh, you aren't. We're in the railway series. But you're not even the original gauge. You see, you will run on the Arsdale track while we perform the standard gauge version. And you're about to have a heart attack. Because if you're in the railway series, you're a veteran. I'm too old. Uh, I... You're never too young to have a Vietnam flashback. <laughs> I'm okay. I'm okay. Gordon, we gotta get moving. Or else there will be shooting. Gordon. <laughs> What's his problem? You're not canon! Get out! I regret nothing! Eventually, Gordon and James found Thomas. They wanted to make a promise. Let's never have a war again. At Gordon, I think you mean again. Get out. Oh. Why? Ah! Oh no, Thomas, we didn't get the crash on camera. We got half of it on camera. But Thomas, Shh, more profit, Percy, more profit. <laughs> but then it started snowing. No, Percy, that's just the styrofoam guy. Oh wait, it is snowing. The snow is piling up. And it's getting thick and tough. You don't know how to rhyme. Get out of my face. I'm the best tank engine rapper that you've ever faced on this earth. Yeah, political rap. Okay, I'll this go is to a... another place. This is a political rap. Oh no, I have to make a jump. I don't know where to go, but I guess I'll have to make this jump right here. Nope. God, it always happens. Gordon and James are covered with snow. Percy's gone to another land. I don't even have anywhere to go. But wait, what's this? A milk tanker? Stop, Matt, what does this look like to you? Thomas, let me in. It's freezing cold out here. Yeah, I know, I don't think so, fatty. Uh, but wait, it stopped snowing. I guess it's time to get going. I have to get back to the station, because I have to finish my animation. What is this now? A chaos struck. It's snowing again. Holy truck! The snow started falling again, and defenses were falling again. But luckily, Thomas spared all the engines, because mercy's better than fighting. The engines wanted Thomas to join their side, be just like them, and help them stride. But Thomas said, I won't do that. Just because you kill engines doesn't mean, a matter of fact, that the snow will stop falling because it will continue to go on. And British Thomas, no one cares. About you! But it's not fair. We don't get much screen time. I Have you noticed it? That didn't rhyme. Oh, I get it. You tricked me into rhyming. So they continue to fight. Oh no, this situation really seems sticky. What's that in the sky? Oh, look, it's... Big Mickey! Boom! Oh! Now the war had been settled, the crane ha has won, but Thomas is still number one. Oh! We forgot to do the intro, so let's go. Thomas and his associates. Now get out, we're not paying you any popcorn. Because you are all idiots. There's only one train there, Thomas. I know I'm talking to Senate. 